It's Fair is sharing all my hard work and research with the judges and sharing my passion. It's just a good experience in general. It teaches you good research skills that are necessary for the future. I chose to do a project about the brain and its relationship to earworms because I'm fascinated about the brain. I've been interested in science since I was four years old. When I was four years old, I decided I want to be a stem cell scientist. Um, I think I want to be some kind of doctor, maybe like neuroscience or pediatrics. And my research project actually really helped me like grow into this field and learn about this area because um, I'm trying to create a treatment for this uh, cognitive disorder. So that's really like piqued my interest in that field. mixing what I like to do at school, which is science, and something fun that could help me learn more about it, science fair is probably the right choice. In my project, there were several problems that occurred along the way, and through those I learned that there's always going to be a way out. You just have to be resilient and problem solve and try and figure out what's wrong and what you can do to help. Them. So I feel like this year I like had to work harder for it, and I really like um, had to develop my project because uh, it was against a lot of really different I wanted to impact the world in a positive way using climate change and um, the effects of styrofoam on ocean life, marine life, and animals in our environment, and how it affects us when it's burnt for disposal and plastics. We've been evacuated from wildfires twice in our lives, and luckily our homes haven't been in any real danger, but in the case they were, this would have been extremely useful. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants Without the medium of soil, you can actually use air and just um, direct water and nutrients towards the plant's roots. We designed this professional apparatus over here. You can use uh, 100 gallons of water for more than three years. I would like to welcome everybody to our evening. Thank you all for attending the award ceremony of the 69th Annual Los Angeles County Science and Engineering Fair. This has been an exciting year for the Los Angeles County Science and Engineering Fair. We have grown in numbers, hosting 695 projects represented by 835 students from all across Los Angeles County. We are proud to have special awards to present from a wide variety of organizations. So let's get started. Our young scientists and engineers demonstrated their curiosity, their passion, and their commitment to making a better world through their explorations of the world around them. Welcome, scientists, engineers, judges, site coordinators, parents, and special guests. This is the 72nd Annual Los Angeles County Science and Engineering Fairs Virtual Awards Ceremony. I'm Nishat Ali Khan, president of the largest and longest running regional science and engineering fair in the Western United States. Please join me now as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The year 2021 continued to bring many challenges. 
The pandemic raged on and conflicts grew. And yet we navigated these unprecedented times with grace and patience. With COVID guidelines constantly changing and schools shifting between in-person and virtual learning, taking part in the Los Angeles County Science and Engineering Fair became a daunting task for the amazing group of students who never let these enormous challenges interfere with their quest to ask questions, observe problems, conduct research, and think of solutions. This year was really, as our theme states, about overcoming challenges, unraveling the uncertain, and prompted our young scientists and engineers to get creative and rely on their imaginations to rethink the way we had done things in the past. Living through this global pandemic, imagining and manifesting new ways to maintain social connections and fully engage in learning while simultaneously navigating the pre-approval and submission process definitely posed unique challenges. All this to say I'm incredibly proud of the over 450 students who successfully part participated in this year's fair, submitting 378 projects last week. As previously mentioned, our theme, Overcoming Challenges, Unraveling the Uncertain, was on point with the tenacity and resolve our young scientists and engineers showed as they overcame the challenges of conducting their research and asking their questions in this new reality. It has been amazing to see our young scientists and engineers demonstrate their curiosity, their passion, and their commitment to making a better world while simultaneously unraveling the many uncertainties that still exist. As I perused the virtual submissions, I was so very impressed to see the variety of projects tackling the challenges around us. We had students thinking about the impact of COVID, the environment, and how we think and act under a variety of conditions, just to name a few of the wide variety of topics our 378 projects addressed. These 450 plus students did not let challenges stand in their way. They overcame challenges with materials, technology, and research to deepen their knowledge and create solutions to arising issues. These students are our amazing student scientists. We look forward to seeing the wonderful work that they do in the future, especially what they bring to the fair next year. Thank you and let's begin with our virtual awards ceremony. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce and thank the executive board. So a special thanks to our executive board members Honorary Board Members Maureen Allen and Richard Belushian, Board Member John Vasiliades, Board Member Susan Singh, Board Secretary Andrea Corrales, Board Treasurer Eric Hartung, Board Vice President Benjamin Dickow, and myself as President. I would also be remiss if I didn't give a special thanks to our advisory committee. So a special thanks to our advisory committee. Shahida Ali Khan, Alamalu Arunachalam, Paula Borstel, Linda Chilton, Mina Chokalingam, Andrea Corrales, Fiona Darsot, Patrick Denny, Benjamin Dickow, Oscar Espinoza, Ideal Gonzalez, Eric Hartung, Kevin Ka, Anne Mabin, Jeffrey Scott Nuttall, Susanna Alu, Andrea Peoples Marwa, Anthony Kwan, Kavitha Satya, Susan Singh, Tanya Semenz McCohen, John Vasiliades, and Mark Wong. This group of people met periodically throughout the school year to help plan and execute this amazing LA County Science and Engineering Fair and especially a very, very special thanks to our judges, 
we spent time looking at all of the virtual submissions students submitted, including their videos, their digital displays, their, pro their logbooks, their project reports, and then coming together to interview them these last few days. So special thanks to our judges. I'm Mark Wong, the Special Awards Chair for 2022. We are proud to have special awards to present from a wide variety of organizations. Let's get started. From the American Meteorological Society, the winner is Allison Wong. Honorable mentions to the team of Charlie Mangeras and Joseph Einabelt and Avery Fox. These students win a special award from the American Meteorological Society. The winner will receive a Certificate of Outstanding Achievement for Ability and Creativity in Atmospheric Science Exhibits and a subscription to WeatherWise Magazine and an invitation to the American Meteorological Society's annual awards banquet for having one of the best projects showing excellence in atmospheric and related oceanic and hydrologic sciences. Allison's project was, Is Global Warming Real? Congratulations, Allison, Charlie, Joseph, and Avery. From the American Psychological Association, the winner is Gia Boraquez. This student wins a special award from the American Psychological Association. She will receive the Certificate of Award for Achievement in Research from the Psychological Association for having one of the best psychology-related projects. Her project was titled Learned Biases in Drosophila Melon Gaster mating behavior. Congratulations, Gia. From the Association of Women Geoscientists, the winners are the team of Sarah Zhang and Karina Kruger. These students win the special award from the Association of Women Geoscientists. They will receive a student award for geoscience excellence for having a project that exemplifies high standards for innovativeness and scientific excellence in the geosciences. Their team project was titled Marsh Mortality. Congratulations, Sarah and Karina. From the ASM Materials Education Foundation, the winners are the team of Emma Tsang and Dylan Fisher. These students win the Most Outstanding Exhibit in Materials Science Award from the ASM Materials Education Foundation for the Best Materials Engineering Project. Emma and Dylan's team project was titled The Effect of Gravitational Force on Basketballs of Different Materials. Congratulations, Emma and Dylan. The Lemelson Foundation Awards go to three students, Daniel Kim, Muhammad Matala and Adam Antabi. These students win the Lemelson Early Inventor Prize for problem solving, empathy, entrepreneurial, and environmentally responsible invention. Daniel's project was creating a remote controlled boat to collect trash. Muhammad's project was power back can phototropic bacteria in wastewater produce energy. Adam's project was the effect of microplastics on the growth and longevity of ghost shrimp. Congratulations, Daniel, Muhammad, and Adam. The Mu Alpha Theta Award goes to Richard Zhu. Richard wins the Mu Alpha Theta Award for the most challenging, original, thorough, and creative investigation of a project involving mathematics. His project was optimizing COVID-19 vaccine diffusion in respiratory mucosa through Stokes-Einstein modeling. Congratulations, Richard. The NASA award goes to Shauna Hong. Shauna wins the NASA System Science Award for having a project that demonstrates excellence in Earth system sciences. Her project was effects of urbanization on soils from playgrounds in Los Angeles County. Congratulations, Shauna. From the National Geographic Society, the award goes to Elon Lonstein. Elon wins the National Geographic Society's That's Geography, Cultivating Empathy for the Earth Award for having a project that is seeking solutions 
to the Earth's most pressing challenges. Elon's project was exploration of sustainable plants as biofuel sources. Congratulations, Elon. The NOAA award goes to Bess Frierson. Bess wins a special award from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This student will receive NOAA's 2022 Taking the Pulse of the Planet Award for presenting research that demonstrates the principles and technical innovations that offer the greatest potential for an improved understanding of Earth's dynamic processes along with a medallion for having a project that best exemplifies NOAA's mission to understand and predict the changes in climate, weather, oceans, and coasts, to share that knowledge and information with others, and to conserve and manage coastal and marine ecosystems and resources. Bess's project was Pattern Twine to Improve Kelp Farming Yields. Congratulations, Bess. The Regeneron Science Talent Search. All students are encouraged to work towards a 12th grade project entering the Regeneron Science Talent Search. Our judges have identified and are encouraging 18 nominated projects. Invitations will be sent to students of these 18 nominated projects. The Rico Americas Corporation Award goes to Danielle Tao. Danielle receives a special award from the RICO Americas Corporation and will receive the RICO Sustainable Development Award in 2022 for having a project that addresses issues of environmental responsibility and sustainable development in science and or engineering. Danielle's project was Solar Panel Efficiency Improvements. Congratulations, Danielle. The Society for In Vitro Biology Award goes to the team project of Jackie Lee and Phoenix He. Jackie and Phoenix win a special award from the Society for In Vitro Biology for the most outstanding project exhibiting in the areas of plant or animal in vitro or artificial environment, biology, or tissue culture. Their team project was a computational evaluation of synthetically engineered biosensors for fungal aflatoxin. Congratulations, Jackie and Phoenix. The Stockholm Junior Water Prize has selected these students, Justin Zhang, Angel Shen, Mira Medhidara, Hanif Kashif, Sophie Sun, the team project of Jessica Lee, Sarah Dia, and Vivian Chen, Marta Penbu Chakian, Alexandra Lam, Ayala Shibao and Michelle Chan, apologies if I'm mispronouncing names, uh, these students win a special award from the California Water Environmental Association and the Stockholm Junior Water Prize Water Environment Found Federation. They will receive the Regional Water Prize Award, Award of Excellence for a water-related science research project and a nomination to compete in the state Stockholm Junior Water Prize competition for having an excellent water-related project. Congratulations. The USAID award goes to Mohamed Matala. Mohamed receives the Science Champion Award from the US Agency for International Development, USAID, to recognize exceptional projects that have the potential to make an impact on addressing international development challenges. His project was Power back, can phototropic bacteria in wastewater produce energy? Congratulations, Mohammed. The U.S. Metric Association Award goes to Madison Wong. This student wins a special award from the U.S. Metric Association and will receive the U.S. Metric Association Award for the best use of SI units in a science fair project for having a project that involves measures and expresses those measures consistently and correctly in SI metric or uses a variety of metric units for different kinds of measures and demonstrates a good understanding of how the metric system works. Her project was an alternative for the tenaculum instrument in women's medicine. Congratulations, Madison. 
The DOD STEM Award goes to Ezrela Tuazan. Ezrela wins the Department of Defense STEM Leadership Prize for excellence in STEM, as well as the problem-solving skills and determination to overcome challenges throughout the research project. Congratulations, Ezrela. The U.S. Air Force Awards go to William Boyd, the team of Christine Kim and Kalia Manayan and Sana Rajesh. These students win a special award from the U.S. Air Force. They will receive the U.S. Air Force Science Award certificate for projects exemplifying STEM-related research. Congratulations, William, Christine, Kalia, and Sana. The Office of Naval Research Junior Division Awards go to Ezreal Tuazan, Ria Dorani, Lucy Kaplan, and Scarlett Glick. These students have won a special junior award from the Office of Naval Research. They will each receive a certificate for having projects that demonstrate excellence in science or engineering. Congratulations, Ezreala, Rhea, Lucy, and Scarlett. For the Senior Division Office of Naval Research Awards, they go to Adarsh Sentha Nathan, Simra Mirza, Mirza, Darren Simetian, Lacey Thompson, Hania Kashif. These students have won a special senior award from the Office of Naval Research. They will each receive a certificate and a $50 gift card to be mailed to them after the fair for having projects that demonstrated excellence in science or engineering. Congratulations, Adarsh, Simra, Darren, Lacey, and Hania. The Yale Science and Engineering Association Award goes to Cindy Liu. This student has won a special award from the Yale Science and Engineering Association. They will receive the Most Outstanding Exhibit Award and will receive a certificate for an outstanding 11th grade project in the areas of computer science, engineering, physics, or chemistry. Her project was Aberrant Human Gut Biome Composition in COVID-19 Disease, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Congratulations, Cindy. The Scientist Award goes to Simra Mirza. The Scientist Award recognizes achievement in exploring science and inspiring innovations for the future life science community. Simra's project was, well, that's just dandy, examining the toxicity of dandelion extract as a proposed superior sunscreen alternative. Congratulations, Simra. The Nuclear Society Award goes to Michael Shamoyan. The Nuclear Society Award goes to the best project representing a field of nuclear science, nuclear technology, nuclear medicine, nuclear engineering, radiation, or health physics. Michael's project was Optimum Nuclear Shielding. Congratulations, Michael. The American Vacuum Society Awards go to first place, Isen Hamkins, and second place, Brindha Srivatsav. These students are awarded the American Vacuum Society's Excellence in Vacuum or Surface Chemistry. They will receive a certificate and a cash award for their projects demonstrating excellence. Eason's project was titled Quantifying Saliva Droplets Emitted from Brass Instruments. Congratulations, Eason and Brindha. The Association, the California Association of Professional Scientists, or CAPS, award goes to Kate John. This student receives a special award from the California Association of Professional Scientists. This student will receive a certificate, a check for $100 mailed after the fair, and the eligibility to compete for CAPS 
Outstanding Young Scientist Award, an award only given to students in the 7th to 11th grade for having a project that best illustrates good scientific methodology in physics, chemistry, biological and environmental science, toxics, and human and energy resources. Her project was titled An Analysis of Recent Harmful Algae Bloom Sightings in California's Inland Water Bodies Reveals, reveals Unusual Spikes in January. Congratulations, Kate. The Society of Petroleum Engineers Award goes to For the senior division, Daniela Salina, and the junior division, Luca Rufat. These students win a special award from the LA chapter of the Society of Petroleum Engineers. They will receive a certificate and $100 check each for having projects that demonstrate a principle of energy, fluid, and gas production and handling, or other technologies or science related to the petroleum industry. Congratulations, Daniela and Luca. The South Bay Business Environmental Coalition has selected two projects. The winners are, in the senior division, the team project of Kelly Tsao, Matthew Lavakchant, Kazuma Hakashi, and in the junior division, Jose Mangana. These students win a special award from the South Bay Business Environmental Coalition. They will receive the South Bay Business Environmental Coalition Award for Innovation and Sustainability Certificate and $100 gift card for projects that best demonstrate SBBEC's mission of promoting sustainable environmental practices within the realm of business. Congratulations, Kelly, Matthew, Kazuma, and Jose. The Southern California Paleontological Society Junior Division Awards go to first place, James Heo, second place, Sadhar Halari, and third place, JC Salonga. These students are awarded the Southern California Paleontological Society's first, second, and third place junior awards for academic excellence. They will receive a certificate, a cash award, one-year membership in the society for having one of the best projects related to paleontology or geology, earth science, paleobiology, or similar categories. Congratulations, James, Sadhar, and JC. In the senior division, the Southern California Paleontological Society has selected first place, Alexandria Lamb, Second place, Vivian He. Third place, the team project of Huck Agar Johnson and Alex Camras. These students are awarded the Southern California Paleontological Society's first, second, and third place senior awards for academic excellence. They will receive a certificate, a cash award, one year membership in the society for having one of the best projects related to paleontology or geology, earth science, paleobiology, or similar categories. Congratulations, Alexandra, Vivian, Huck, and Alex. The UCLA Brain Research Institute Junior Division Awards goes to first place, Manon Iwata, and second place, Caleb Kodama. These students are awarded the UCLA Brain Research Institute's first and second place junior awards for outstanding projects related to neuroscience. They will receive a certificate and a cash award for having a project that demonstrates excellence in a neuroscience related field. Congratulations, Manon and Caleb. For the senior division, the UCLA Brain Research Institute has selected first place, Amrutha Sridvatsav, and second place, Ellen Chen. These students are awarded the UCLA Brain Research Institute's first and second place senior awards for outstanding projects related to neuroscience. 
they will receive a certificate and a cash award for having a project that demonstrates excellence in a neuroscience related field. Congratulations, Amrutha and Ellen. The Professional Engineers in California Government, or PECG, honorable mention awards go to Aidan Tashman, the team project of Francis Lawton and Trevor Atkins, Cade Sabar, Owen Whalen, JC Salonga, and Daniel Kim. These students have won the Professional Engineers in California Government's honorable mention. They will each receive a certificate, a letter, a gift card, and a medal for having projects that displayed excellence in engineering. Congratulations, Aiden Francis, Trevor, Cade, Owen, JC, and Daniel. The Professional Engineers in California Government, James E. Roberts Award of Excellence goes to Zach Matisse. Zach is awarded the Professional Engineers in California Government's James E. Roberts Award of Excellence. James Roberts, the namesake of this award, spearheaded the worldwide highly recognizable Caltrans Highway Bridge Seismic Retrofit pro Program that made highway bridges throughout the state seismically safer. The student will receive a certificate, a letter, a check of $1,000, and a medal for having the top project in engineering. Zach's project was from the ground up. Congratulations, Zach. The Professional Engineers in California Government Marilyn Jorgensen Reese Award of Excellence will be split between two projects. They are Adela Riggs and Ayala Soto. Idella and I Isla have won the Professional Engineers in California Government's Marilyn Jorgensen Reese Award of Excellence. Marilyn Reese, the namesake of this award, paved the way for women in the field of engineering as the first licensed female professional civil engineer in the state of California. Both will receive a certificate, a letter, and share the $1,000 prize with checks of $500 each and a medal for having the top projects in engineering. Adela's project was designing and testing a storm drain to minimize plastic waste in drainage systems. Isla's project was analysis of the bearing capacity of various soils. Congratulations, Adela and Isla. The David Park Foundation has selected to receive their grand prize scholar award of $500, Madison Wong. Madison is awarded the David Park Foundation Scholar Award, grand prize and $500 for outstanding projects related to innovation and technology. Her project was an alternative, alternative for the tenaculum instrument in women's medicine. Congratulations, Madison. The ICPDAS USA Inc. has three prizes. For second and third place, they have selected William Huang and Zara Edler. These students are awarded second place and $400 and third place and $200 for the ICPDAS USA Southern California Social Impact Award presented to the students who put in the time and effort by creating new innovations, ideas, and creations to help better the environment and quality of life on the planet. These original concepts and designs will have a strong impact today and for the years to come. William's project was Argus 3, a novel image optimization and augmentation framework to enable and improve patient experience for the next generation retinal prosthesis. Zara's project was testing the limits of facial recognition software. Congratulations, William and Zara. And the first place award from ICP DAS USA goes to Justin Liu. Justin is awarded first place and $1,000 
for the ICP DAS USA Southern California Social Impact Award presented to the students who put in the time and effort by creating new innovations, ideas, and creations to help better the environment and quality of life on the planet. These original concepts and designs will have a strong impact today and for years to come. Justin's project was INET, a holistic machine learning ensemble for the diagnosis, severity assessment, and clinical event prediction of diabetic retinopathy. Congratulations, Justin. The Saban Family Foundation Junior Division Awards go to first place, Ella Erman, and second place, Arush Hanif. These two students win the Saban Family Foundation first and second prize prizes for their best for the best junior projects by female scholars with a focus on providing a positive impact to her community. Elle's project was clean water the power of solar radiation and filtration. Arusha's project was building and comparing the indoor temperature and relative humidity of mini homes made with recyclable materials for cost-effective homeless shelters. Congratulations, L and Arush. And for the senior division, the Saban Family Foundation has selected Amrutha Srivastav, and Alexandra Lamb. These two students win the Saban Family Foundation Scholar Prize for the best senior projects by female scholars with a focus on providing a positive impact to her community. And Rutha's project was in silico high throughput identification of novel dual amyloid beta and tau aggregation inhibitors for Alzheimer's disease treatments. Alexandra's project was brine remediation and biofuel production by Daniela Saliva, Sa Salina. Congratulations, Amrutha and Alexandra. Congratulations to all the students, parents, and mentors. This concludes this portion of special awards at the LA Science and Engineering Fair. On behalf of the Los Angeles County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Deborah Duardo, the Los Angeles County Office of Education is pleased to be a continued collaborator of the Los Angeles County Science and Engineering Fair, one of the longest running competitions in the state. I'm Anthony Kwan, the STEM coordinator and advisory member with the LA County Science and Engineering Fair, and I'm pleased to be one of the MCs for this awards program. And I'm Alamelo Arunachalam. I'm on the advisory committee. I've been with LA County Science Fair for the past 12 years as a volunteer, and I'm happy to be a part of the NCE team today. This year, students were able to select and compete in 36 categories. Please remember that every student who moved into this regional competition are winners in their own rights. The executive and advisory board members do not have any influence over the results, and therefore the judges' decisions are final. This ceremony will be a little different just as it was last year. Throughout the programming, you'll hear from former participants as they share with you how the science fair has influenced their life. Alamelu and I will do our best to honor your given names by not mispronouncing as much as possible. However, we ask for your forgiveness as we respect each and every one of you. Let's begin. Animal Biology Junior Division receiving recognition, Obahai Evan Oyamenden Jimenez. In third place, Alexis Ornstein. In second place, Adam Intabe. And in first place, Animal Biology Junior Division from the Chamlian Armenian School, Site Coordinator, Lita Givorkian, with the title, Sleepy Bugs, Narag Kashaki.
Animal Biology Senior Division receiving recognition, the team of Benjamin Woodward and Yang Peng, Rafi Bogosian, Justin Jiang, the team of Autumn Zhao and Caitlin Sullivan Pasquale, Mia Moore Walker, the team of Jenny Wong and Christy Ma, Alex Lee, Jalen Welcome. Receiving honorable mention, Gia Bohorges. In third place, Anna Enten, also receiving third place, Matthew Wong. In second place, Kensuke Shimojo. And in first place, from the Flint Ridge Preparatory School site coordinator, Shane Freewin, can jellyfish smell Aurelia Orita exhibit a pulse response to food stimuli, William Boyd. Animal Physiology Junior Division. The recognition goes to Abdel Mumen Merwani and Mahib Rahman. Animal Physiology Junior Division. Third place, Noor Farurki. In second place, Chloe Bagdazarian. And in first place, from Westridge School for Girls, site coordinator Liz Kim. Project title, Perfect for the Bones, Association of Living with a Cat on Women's Body Bone Density. Manon Iwata. Animal Physiology Senior Division recognition goes to Arlene Zamudio and Diego Huizar. In second place, the team of Sana Zakar and Zimal Amir. And in first place from Flip Flintridge Preparatory School, Site Coordinator Shane Frewen. Project title Examining Aurelia Aurita Stimulation in Presence of Other Jellyfish. The student is Ryan Jin. Behavioral Science, Non Human, Junior Division, receiving recognition, Skylar Burke, and the team of Eva Pretsky and Maya Petersell. Behavioral Science, Non Human, Junior Division. In second place, Nora Fuad. In first place, from the Pressman Academy, site coordinator Monica Hall, with the title, The Perfect Polish, Noah Delson. Behavioral Social Sciences, Junior Division, receiving recognition, Delilah English, Nora Al-Sharif, Malak Saad, Zainab Zubari, Brandon Quinto, Ariel Goldscheider, Mary-Kate Walsh. Receiving honorable mention, Sheila Maicelli, Blake Kaplan. In third place, Javeria Kashif. In second place, Isabella Guglimetti, also receiving second place, Henry Feltz. And in first place, from the Meerman School, site coordinator, Andrea Peoples Marwa, the alteration of time perception through an auditory rhythmic device, Tanner Benjamin. Behavioral Social Sciences, Senior Division. Receiving recognition, Parna Panda, Ellen Chen, the team of Diana Nafasardian and Nare Karpidian, Hannah Cho. Honorable mention, Rishkesh Krishna and Tejaswi Krishna. In third place, Zaigan Nagra. In second place, the team of Daniel Panosian and William Panosian. And in first place, from the Archer School for Girls, site coordinator, Gerilyn Nishak, supporting a child by retaining a parent, a thriving foster system, Dilara Tinranchi. Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. The recognition goes to Elili Flor, Autumn Walker, Riley Popovich, Christina Lee, Kayla Reshesh, Mary Hoakimian. Honorable mention, Avi Notowitz, Chloe Lisangan, and Max Wiener. Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Junior Division, third place goes to Trinity Liang. Second place, Varsha Murali. And in first place from Archer School for Girls, site coordinator, Gerilyn Neshek, the student with a project titled Plastic Eating PETAs, Josette White. Biochemistry Molecular Biology Senior Division. Recognition goes to Athar Prabhutendolkar, Calliope Aras, Christine G, Audrey Liu, and Sakurako Cho. The team of Asha Tim and Naomi Kao. The team of Claire Doko and Catherine Lee. 
and Alishba Salman. In third place, Ji Yuan Huang. Second place goes to Elise Huang. In first place, from Palisades Charter High School, site coordinator Jane Curran, multiformer using a transformer-based language model to identify pathogenic missense mutations associated with human inherited diseases and cancer. Theodore Jiang. Chemistry, Applied Junior Division, Receiving Recognition. Ava Austria, the team of Maurizio Perez and Noah Espizia, Michelle Lee. David Enfiagian, the team of Nara Kurdzian and Lori Hofsefian, Robert Zerokian. Receiving honorable mention, CJ Arnarch. In third place, Amina Mula. In second place, Franzel Torreflores. And in first place, from Portola Highly Gifted Magnet, Site Coordinator Ruth Gramajo, Microfiltration versus Reverse Osmosis, which method best removes plastic from water, Harper Nosek Mulvihill. Chemistry, General Junior Division, receiving recognition, Aviam Siegel, Giselle Oseguera, Charlize Tafoya. Receiving honorable mention, Allison San Juan. In third place, Reinschneck. In second place, Julio Lemus. And in first place, from the Science Academy STEM magnet, site coordinator Flavia Di Monaco, how different substances affect the freezing point, the team of Eero Wolf and Nicholas Mandrika. Chemistry Senior Division, receiving recognition, Sienna Ozar, the team of Aiden Park and Benjamin Lee, Michael Shimoyan, the team of Abriel Rushing and Samantha Imperio. Receiving honorable mention, Angel Shen, Shi Hao Zhang, the team of Abigail Tapia, Tanya Sandoval, and Zia Zantua. <laughs> Chemistry, Senior Division. In third place, Krisha Sak Senior. Second place, Sehun Kang. And in first place, from Whitney Gretchen High School, site coordinator Nita Song improving the overall ductility and usability of milk-based plastic through the addition of plasticizer, Sana Rajesh. Earth Space Sciences Junior Division. Recognition goes to Alison Wong, Anya Gupta, and the team of Charlie Manjarez and Joseph Elnabut. Honorable mention, Khadija Aliuddin. Earth Space Sciences Junior Division, third place goes to Noah Weisman. In second place, Charles Swan Crow. And in first place, from Walter Reed Middle School, site coordinator Joanne Joy and Sophia. Project title AQIIQ, Isla Luciano. Earth Space Sciences Senior Division. Recognition goes to Camila Martinez. Honorable mention, Nanar Shahinian. In third place, Connor Peters. Second place goes to Alexandra Kamras. In first place, from Palos Verdes Peninsula High School, site coordinator Melissa Close, with a project title Cube Network 
a low cost, high sensitivity consumer seismic network for earthquake early warning. Vivian He. Ecology, Junior Division, receiving recognition. Emily Pascal, Violet Lieberman, Eleanor Bromwich, Gable Fieldkoff, Christian Alvarado, Yahia Kasem, Helen, Helen, Helen Nathaniel. Also receiving recognition, the team of Carolyn Rackett and Eve Prodromides, Leighton Speck, Armin Sharif. Receiving honorable mention, James Corman, Benjamin Kurtz. In third place, Miriam Zahid. In second place, Zoe Khan. And in first place, from Portola Highly Gifted Magnet, Site Coordinator Ruth Gramajo, Prevalence of Synthetic Materials in Juvenile Environments, Polymeric Microfiber Shedding and Air Quality, the team of Daisy Luke and Guthrie Luke. Ecology, Senior Division, receiving recognition, Kate Jang, Avery Fox, Presley Vernick, the team of Kazuma Hikushi, Kelly Sao, and Matthew Lavishan, Hanya Kashif, receiving honorable mention, Ava Simpson, Ian Chang. In third place, Mira Mahidara. In second place, Elena Montalvan. And in first place, from Palos Verdes Peninsula High School, site coordinator Melissa Close, who occupies the changing environment, impacts of traits and interspecies co occurrence on non native plant spread under climate change in California, Sarah Cow. Engineering Applications, Junior Division. Recognition goes to Christian Soto. Uriel Gonzalez, Amy Castaneda, Cameron Paxton, Joaquin Ramos, Nathan Kudal, Aidan Tashman, Andrew Fike. Recognition, William Kim, Daniel Sao, Nathan Reeves, Kyle Chu, Kate Saiwar, Shriya Vishwas, and Charlotte Bakpoichuk. Recognition continued. The team of Annabel Ordonez, Samantha Hernandez, and Stephen McCaskill. And also the team of Brady Natal and Dylan Ballou. Engineering Applications Junior Division, Honorable Mention. Madeline Kim, team of Ashley Kim, Irene Kwan, and Jillian Ibatuan. Luca Rufat, Isabel Finn, Spencer Phillips, Jasper Mejia, Ellie Urman, Francis Lawton and Trevor Atkins, Hannah Dodson, Omar Jimenez. Engineering Applications Junior Division. Third place, Zach Matisse. Second place, Caleb Kodama. And in first place, from Sierra Madre Middle School, Site Coordinator Ravi Dev Anandan with a project title overall, which artificial pancreas works best? It's Scarlett Glick. Engineering application senior division. The recognition goes to Zoe Griffin, Quincy Gordon, David Ajamian, Mariam Akelian, Sophie Sun, Brinda Srivatsav, Victor Akuna, and Edward Jew. Recognition goes to Ma the team of Maria Lozano and Marilyn Rosas, and also the team of Jessica Lee, Sarah Dia, and Vivian Chen. Honorable mention goes to Zachary Jones, Val Rasmussen, and Benjamin Chen. Third place, Madison Wong. Second place, Mulang Shi. And in first place from Palos Verdes Peninsula High School, site coordinator Melissa Close, project title Argus 3, a novel image opt optimization and augmentation framework to enable and improve patient experience for the next generation retinal prosthesis. It's William Huang. Hi, my name is Zoe Sewell, and I participated in the LA County Science Center throughout middle school and high school, and even led me to going to Intel SF in 2014. 
experience of the LA County Science Fair played an instrumental role in shaping and propelling my path to where I am today, studying physics and math at UC Berkeley. Curiosity led me to wondering about and questioning the world around me, trying to understand what different things worked as they did. Some questions I had were insignificant, while others led me to develop deeper interests in various areas, some of course being science, but others like lacrosse and art. Science, though, is at the root of essentially everything around us, which is fascinating if you think about it, and one of the reasons that led me to doing my science projects, curiosity about the depth of science itself. There's a place in science for everybody who is curious about anything, and if you're curious about something, keep asking those questions and learn what you can about it, because the more you learn about something, the more you'll realize how much more there is to learn. Engineering Research Junior Division receiving recognition, the team of Hema Zolarzano and Michelle Salgado, the team of Aaron Lee, San Ko, and Sean Kondo. Also receiving recognition, Cassandra Sahagun, Quinn Hamilton, Jacob Atanasio, Aaron Tomuka, Min Huang, Sophia Diva. Receiving honorable mention, Owen Whalen. In third place, Spencer Reisner. In second place, Adam Nasir, and in first place from Mountain Avenue Elementary School site coordinator Nancy Jia with the project title Vision App, Pranav Arunachal Arunachalam. Hi, my name is Titasha. I was a participant in the LA County Science Fair from 2016 through 2018. Some of my favorite parts of the science fair were meeting other participants, presenting projects I was passionate about, and talking to so many people, whether they were judges, other students, or simply people who were interested in science. The Science Fair community is inspiring, and I have learned so much from every person I met during my Science Fair years. Standing in front of my board and giving my speech was definitely a highlight in my high school experience. I would consider Science Fair as a crucial step for me to become the researcher that I am today. I would like to congratulate all of you who have participated in the science fair this year. You are all inspiring for pursuing your interests despite the obstacles during the pandemic. All of the skills that you learn from science fairs, like public speaking and scientific methods, will definitely be helpful for you in the future as they have been for me. In college, I still use protocols that I learned and perfected during my high school years. I would also like to say thank you to the executive board members, coordinators, judges, and volunteers for making the science fair happen year after year and for impacting so many students' lives. Once again, congratulations everyone and I hope you have a great science fair experience. Engineering Research Senior Division receiving recognition, Abhi Prajapati and Vamsi Vimpati. Haley Kim, Madeline Lee, receiving honorable mention, Madison Ward and Ryan Kuo. In third place, Rachel Demerit. In second place, the team of Chowan Kim, Sanjeev Cherumandanda, and Warren Lam. And in first place, from Palos Verdes High School, site coordinator Julie Munoz, designing and constructing an automatic non-electrical cardiopulmonary resuscitation machine to eliminate human error in the medical field, Andreas Tempero. Environmental Management Junior Division. Recognition goes to the team of Kevin Meneses and Leonardo Garcia, Will Abiragi, Lucy Kaplan, Nora E, Austin Hodge, Haris Hafid. Recognition goes to Ibrahim Mulla, Matteo Magnano, Aaron Karate, Isabella Antigue. Honorable mention, Isha Patel, Jessica Jin, Owen Edekir, Garrison Griffith, Dro Abulian, Daniel Kim. Environmental Management Junior Division in third place, J.C. Salonga, also receiving a third place, James Hio, the team of Arya Elad and Jonah Delson also received third place, as well as Kai Beck. In second place, the team of Abel Yabut, Aidan Gonzalez, and Conan Inari, and also receiving second place, Ria Devani. 
In first place, from the Archer School for Girls, site coordinator Gerlin Nishek, saving the polar bears one microsphere at a time, Claire Doyle. Environmental Management Senior Division receiving recognition, Max, the team of Max Ween and Ruby Rose Carlson, Jessica Robles, Madeline Gross, Shauna Hong, the team of Audrey Drabek, Miley Mansbridge, and Victoria Adams, Adarsh Sentanathan, Darren Simitian, receiving recognition, Crystal Vo, Isla Shibal, Vanna Skorska. Receiving honorable mention, Rosalia Park, Alexandria Lam, the team of Karina Kruger and Sarah Zhang. In third place, Adela Riggs. In second place, Bess Frierson. And in first place, from Crescenta Valley High School, site coordinator Orenda Tuasan, dissolved solid filtering efficacy of varied landfill liner powders, Marta Pambukchian. Material Science Junior Division. Recognition goes to Maya Henriquez, Ian Lee, Charlotte Richardson, Olivia Hanscom, Arush Hanif, David Pantagia, Isabella Zovigian, Ellen Asaturian, Taylor Angelo Anderson, Zoe Holmes, and the team of Caden Alford and Natalie Ledezima. Honorable mention goes to Charlie Noggle, Lev Newhall, and Hannah Putnam. Material Science Junior Division. Third place goes to Rachel Stefanini. Second place, Catherine Tang. And in first place, from Ross Academy of Creative and Media Arts Middle School, site coordinator Oscar Espinoza, with a project title, What is the Effect of Different Cups on the Temperature of Hot Beverages? Andrea Moni. Mathematics Computer Sciences Junior Division, receiving recognition, Jaden Kim, Hanif Khan. Honorable mention, Esri Wilcox. In third place, Zara Edler. In second place, the team of Aaron Park, Gavin Sarmiento, and Yuha Lin. And in first place, from the Mirman School, site coordinator, Andrea Peoples Marwa, does modified airflow reduce the spread of airborne infections in classrooms? Alex Gavin. Mathematics and Computer Science Senior Division, receiving recognition. Isaac Lee, Lydia Chin, Do Hyun Ju, Karen Wu, Andrew Ingsaiken, Larry May, the team of Andrew Chi and Henry Chung. Honorable mention goes to Justin Liu. In third place, Wei Liu. In second place, Jenna Chow. And in third and in first place, from Palos Verdes High School. Site coordinator Junli Munoz using a multiple linear regression model for truck turn time to reduce port congestion and improve air quality. Anthony Yoon. Microbiology, Junior Division. Recognition goes to Alexandra Salvagio, the team of Noor Sitki and Suha Hamdan, Joshua Aftergood, Salma Azaz. Honorable mention. Leila Negrim, Mohamed Motala. In third place, the team of Darian Wise, Sasha Kapatori Poo, and Winter Perino. In second place, Gia Patel. And in first place, from Portola Highly Gifted Magnet, site coordinator Ruth Gramajo, with a project title B Subtilis and S Grisius use as inoculants against Streptococcus. Maxwell Furberg. Microbiology Senior Division. Recognition goes to Genevieve Sive. Honorable mention, Richard Zhu and the team of Mirabel, Raphael, and Petrina Ong, and the team of Jackie Lee and Phoenix He. Microbiology Senior Division, third place, Pierre Sun, second place, Cindy Liu, and in first place from Cabrillo Marine Aquarium, site coordinator Nate Perrin, project title, A Solid State Growing Chlorella Vulgaris in Different Media, 
Mark Lin. Pharmacology, Junior Division, Receiving Recognition. Dinushri Vidavali Ganesh, Camila Velasco Atilano. In third place, Shayan Azam. In second place, Arthram Mirza. And in first place, from Archer School for Girls, Site Coordinator Jerlyn Nishak. How do vitamins A, E, D, and K affect the piece of stem cell regeneration in planaria? The team of Ava McQuaid, Natalie London, and Saskia Summer. Pharmacology, Senior, Pharmacology, senior Division, Receiving Recognition, Vincent Hofsepian, the team of Christine Kim and Kalia Manayan, Receiving Honorable Mention, Lacey Thompson, Simra Mirza. In third place, Mahuli Ganguli. First place, from Cristenda Valley High School, Site Coordinator Orenda Tuasan, Screening of Natural Metabolites in the Prevention of Receptor Tyrosine Kinase Mediated Cancers. Mahesh Arunachalam, also receiving a first place from Palos Verdes Peninsula High School, Site Coordinator Melissa Close, in silico high throughout identification of novel dual amyloid beta and tau aggregation inhibitors for Alzheimer's disease treatments. Amrutha Shervatsov. Physics, Aerodynamics, Hydrodynamics, Junior Division. Recognition goes to Kami Darbabian, Ibrahim El Sayed. Honorable mention, Luca Khan. Physics, Aerodynamics, Hydrodynamics, Junior Division. First place goes to students from the Science Academy, STEM Magnet, Site Coordinator, Flavia D. Monaco. Project title, Determining Factors That Affect Fan Performance. The team of Harshini Manikandan and Tanishka Tankaraj Vijay. Physics, Electricity, Magnetism, Junior Division. Recognition goes to Sophia Audu, Jadine Santos, James Lowry, Ellie Chapella, Sophia Manaker, Noah Figurova, Rasmi Mustafa, Aisha Badawi, Vivian Rosenberg, Naisha Prasad, Yusuf Karev, Samuel Pike Heinz. Honorable mention goes to Ashalina Bolat. Physics, Electricity, Magnetism, Junior Division. Third place goes to Jake Maniscalco. Second place, Zalia Nunes. And the first place from Hale Charter Academy, STEAM Magnet, Site Coordinator, Joanne Ramirez, with a project title, How Does the Gauge of a Wire Affect the Amount of Electricity Generated by a Magnet and a Coil? Casey Lee. Physics General Junior Division. Recognition goes to Dylan Marks, Kately McGregor, Allison Leo, Vincent Banas, Ori Bard, Sebastian Kimla, Evie Waldron, and Leila Bowles. Honorable mention, Anika Tampari, Danika Chen. Physics General Junior Division, Second place goes to Charles Huang. And in first place, from Portola Highly Gifted Magnet, Site Coordinator Ruth Gramajo, with a project title, Analysis of the Bearing Capacity of Various Soils, it's Isla Soto. Hello, my name is Mark Omad. Competed at the Los Cash Science Fair from 2007 to 2009. I got third place special award my first year and second place my second third years. I qualified to compete at the state level in 2009 and I got fourth place. I graduated from Cal State Long Beach in 2018 with a Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering. I currently work at North Grumman as a Technical Operations Engineer and I've been with the company almost seven years. I started as an intern in 2015, and once I graduated in 2018, I began working full time and rolled up my dream job out of college. I was a systems test engineer on the James Webb Space Telescope program, which is the successor to the Hubble. I was also a part of the launch effort in French Guiana, which led up to Christmas Day launch of last year. My passion for science started in middle school and led me to accomplishments beyond what I could have ever imagined. The product structures we used in the science fair were the same concepts we applied on large scale programs led by NASA. I want to thank everyone that was part of science fairs over the years for sparking my curiosity and for leading me to become the successful engineer that I am today. 
Physics Senior Division, third place, Jay Yong Yi. Second place, Ethan Hamkins. And in first place from Palos Verdes Peninsula High School, Site Coordinator Melissa Close, with a project title, Optimization of Distributed Phased Arrays. It's Akash Anand. Plant Biology and Physiology Junior Division, receiving recognition, Addison Sandoval, Sahar Halari, Grigor Shaverdian, Zara Ovanesian, Marion Delphin, the team of Audrey Cho and Carolyn Ching, Rose Reyes, Abigail Am, Katie Kuo, Juliana Oseguera, Joylene Gonzalez, Connor Grotenwies, Aya Hamden. Receiving honorable mention, Taylor Zart, Daniel Kim. In third place, Madeline Kressel. In second place, Joey Magana, and in first place, Portola Highly Gifted Magnet, South uh, Site Coordinator Ruth Gramajo, Modulating Oxen Alters Plant Development, Sahel Munchi. Plant Biology and Physiology, Senior Division, Receiving Recognition, Meilin Chen, Samantha Bonk, Kelton Lin. Receiving Honorable Mention, Kevin Martinez, David Gomez Novi, Elon Lonstein. In third place, Kelly Fung. In second place, Ellie Choi. And in first place, from Palos Verdes Peninsula High School, Site Coordinator Melissa Close, the use of brassino steroids to reduce the amount of water required to grow rice, or Ritza Sativa, Michelle Chan. Product Science, Junior Division, receiving recognition, Clarissa Mata, Ved Kartik, Omar Adelaziz Karadwan, Hana Tabesh, Lin Mustafa, the team of Dana Aryan and Sana Khan, Israela Tuazon, Jason Kwok, the team of Ava Ray Prabutsky and Ryder Beeler. Honorable Rep Mention, Penelope Eric, Catherine Colmenares, Justin Jung, the team of Dylan Fisher and Sana Khan. In third place, the team of Grant Donahue and Luke Deals. In second place, Abira Dost. And in first place, from the Chamlian Armenian School, Site Coordinator Lita Gevorkian, the skinny on moisturizers, which moisturizers works best to keep the skin moist? Natalie Tindratsian. That concludes the category awards. Now for our top awards. These include our Daryl Smedley Award, our Sweepstakes Awards, and our, the announcement of our ISEF designees for the 2022 ISEF, or International Science and Engineering Fair. Let's begin. First, the Daryl Smedley Award goes to junior Catherine Ting and senior Mira Mahidara. They receive the Daryl Smedley Award named after Daryl Smedley, a beloved employee of the Los Angeles County Office of Education who admired projects done by students using their own skills and creativity. This award in memorial to him recognizes students whose projects show evidence of being done completely by themselves without help from out, without outside help from parents or mentors. Both students will receive a card, a crystal trophy, and a hundred dollars cash. Additionally, their names will be added to a perpetual plaque at the Los Angeles County Office of Education. Congratulations to Catherine and Mira. All of our first and second place winners and designated third place winners have qualified for the California State Science Fair held on April 12th, 2022. The online registration deadline is March 29th, 2022. All qualified winners will receive an email with details about how to register. So congratulations to all of our junior and senior first, second, and designated third place winners who've qualified for the California State Science Fair. All of our junior division, first, second, and third place winners have also qualified to apply for the Broadcom Masters competition. 
you will also receive an email and password to register before the application closes on June 15, 2022. Now for our sweepstakes. The sweepstakes awards recognize the top projects across all of the junior division. These projects are nominated by the judges for each category, and then the finalists are evaluated by a small committee made up of our advisory committee. So this year's junior division sweepstakes finalists are Alex Gavin, Guthrie Luke and Daisy Luke, Harper Nosek Mulvihill, Harshini Manikandan and Tanishka Thankaraj Vijay, Josette White, Casey Lee, Manon Iwata, Maxwell Furberg, Narg Koshaki, Natalie Thandratsian, Nicholas Mandrika and Aero Wolf, Hernav Arunachalam, Sahil Munshi, Scarlett Glick, and Tanner Benjamin. So congratulations to all of you for being our sweepstakes finalists. And our sweepstakes junior division winner is Sahil Munshi. Congratulations, Sahil. Now on to our senior division. So our senior division finalists for sweepstakes are Akash Anand, Amrita Srivastav, Andres Tempero, Mahesh Arunachalam, Mark Lynn, Michelle Chan, Ryan Jin, Sana Rajesh, Theodore Jang, Vivian He, William Boyd, and William Huang. So congratulations to all of our senior division sweepstakes finalists. And our senior division sweepstakes winner is Theodore Jiang. Congratulations, Theodore. Now onto our ICEF designees. So the International Science and Engineering Fair will take place March, May 7th to 13th of this year as a hybrid event. So every year, the LA County Science and Engineering Fair is granted a certain project allocation. This year, our allocation is seven projects. So as we choose our seven projects, in addition to seven projects, we've also chosen a couple of alternate alternates in case for whatever reason, one or two of the seven can't participate. So this year's ICEF alternates are Mahesh Arunachalam and Ryan Jin. And now for our ICEF designees. So these are the seven projects that have been selected to represent the Los Angeles County Science and Engineering Fair in this year's International Science and Engineering Fair. Without further ado, our designees. Amrita Srivastav, Andres Tempro, Mark Lin, Marta Pambuchian, Sena Rajesh, Theodore Cheng, and William Boyd. Congratulations to all students, parents, mentors, judges, and volunteers. And we certainly hope to see you all next year at the 73rd Annual Los Angeles County Science and Engineering Fair to be held in March 2023.